Oh, hello again everyone, welcome back. Uh, thanks for visiting once again. Um, some of you may remember back along many, many years ago I was um, undertaking this little project and I know there was some interest um, amongst um, you all in, in, the, in the world of tanking. Um, and um, as you probably recall I got as far as assembling these little components here um, and putting some Mr. Surfacer on them and so on and so forth. And to be honest, I had quite a lot of trouble summoning up the um, the enthusiasm to do this. So I thought, well, I've got a few spare minutes tonight. I'll try and summon up some enthusiasm now um, and see if I, perhaps I can get myself back to actually building this kit and, and perhaps bringing it to a conclusion uh, at some stage. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do this little section here with the, with the gun, you know, the turret mounted machine gun and so on. And then I shall do some large chunks of things and then show you what I've done and have a quick talk through because I, I sense that with um, the fact that we're only as far as step 28 out of um, lots let's just have a quick look and count back and see because there's quite a lot to do step 35 it sounds like we're quite a long way through out of step 20 you know out of 35 steps but because of the sheer quantity of absolutely minute pieces it's actually rather difficult to um, assess how long it's going to be so I shall do lots of bits and then I shall come back to you and when I get to something that I think is going to be interesting in terms of maybe there's a big component to fit or a large piece of um, photo etch um, or something interesting like this little piece just here <laughs> which looks like it would be worth many, many swears to get onto a, a kit. I might do a little film of that so that you can point and laugh uh, and things like that. So um, there we are. So we'll have a little crack at that. Um, try to ignore the Corsair in the background um, and um, we'll, uh, we'll have a go at this little tank. But um, first of all, I want to just give a quick shout out to a guy who faithfully writes in on on my videos um, you know many of which are aircraft as you'll know and he does a lot of um, a lot of tanks and armored vehicles and so on and, and he's particularly good at dioramas and I strongly urge you to go and visit Paulie's workbench um, he's a lovely guy and, and he's got a great style about him and he builds some really cracking pieces of kit so go take a look at him and, and see what you have to and what, what you think and um, I don't know maybe give him a sub I think he deserves that um, and um, and tell him that Zinzan sent you uh, or sent you and I'll and I'll um, I'll be happy with that so anyway look let's get cracking on um, we're at step 27 at the moment doing some messing around here putting these components on so this is the ammunition case for the machine gun and some other odd components here which have to go in so I discovered that um, I had a bit of a problem with one component which it tells you to put in earlier which is this little fellow here I put this on and when and, and it sits sort of more or less like that flat and then try to put this little component in and that fits in after that fashion like that as you can see and I couldn't get this to go down and the reason for that is because um, this was a bit too a bit too high so this little component there fits underneath let's get the poker out and go all the way in so you can see so you see a little little spigot that pokes out there that's got it's got a bloody a seam line on it which I need to take off but um, that little Johnson just there you can just see that there you go just there fits underneath there now as you can see I've taken it off and what I did was just use a bit of extra thin quick setting and um, attempted to remove it but I've actually removed the the um, the uh, what's it called the, the sprue bit that, that goes in but I filed this down so that I can now get that in and god there's that's pretty terrible there's another um, seam line there so that's how the thing is supposed to go in so what I propose to do is to put that bit on and then put this bit on and then we'll see where we go so what we'll do is we'll just zero back out again and I'll just do a quick piece of um, cleanup here 
and uh, we'll zero right in so that you can see that I have in fact done it. I'll just use the knife here. I got a new blade on this. You can probably see it's, uh, the writing's quite clear. That looks a bit a bit better, I would say. I suspect that probably won't notice from arm's length. Um, and where was the other section where I noticed a, a seam line? I'm sure that you people will remind me. You're all shouting at me in modelling lands. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. That was it under there. That's not going to be so easy. So what we'll do is we'll get a little... Um, little skinny stick there and just wind that round there like that just nice and gently and there we go this is the thing with tanks as I say is just hundreds and hundreds of absolutely minute pieces to put in so I think we can just safely put that in now um, so that is what I shall do I use the old extra thin quick setting because at least it is there and just a little dab in there and it joins very quickly as you know hardly even know why I'm saying this to yourselves you, you're experts to a greater degree than me and that's that in and the next thing we can drop in is this little section here it should then just slip naturally underneath the little section that we've um, that I mentioned and there it goes and then make sure that this sits vertically and that does so what we can then do is Drop a bead of glue in there. Oh, bugger. Um, damn it. Yes. Curses. And so on. So, um, oh, well, there's several for the, um, for the swear box. Um, for those of you who thought I'd forgotten about it, I haven't. It's still there. Um, and, um, there. I think that about sorts that doesn't it so we got that section in um, next bit after that let's have a quick look at this um, as well under here we want to put this box in here I'm not going to put that rubber part in just yet because that goes into the gun and then goes in from there so I'm going to leave that offed for a minute um, and we'll see how we go so the gun the box sits in like that into those little um, sections there and there and it doesn't fit particularly well I think what we'll do is we'll just have a zero in and show you that that looks like yeah, I can just moved that it fits okay but I mean, it seems to fit where it touches and it doesn't touch in many bloody places I think I know why that is I think we can I think where I've sanded this I've actually moved this slightly off centre. Um, it's it's a bit skew whiff. It should sit essentially like that. I think I'm going to put that on that way and then straighten it up after. So what we'll do is I'll just zero out a little bit here and find a way to hold this so that I can bond it. I wonder what those cameras were doing. There's three lenses on this this confounded phone that I use and I think one is for really close in, one is for not very close in and one's for far away. 
and I think that little change there that you saw was not me editing it's actually the, the camera itself changing its focus Do there is just drop that in the back there like that. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, and that's fit in actually because the the, um, the glue has burnt itself a, a place. So what we might do then is there we go. Yeah, the the glue has just burnt away bits and pieces to make that fit rather better that's quite a satisfactory um, conclusion there good excellent so let's get my piece of um, super blue tack and put that on there so that can sit there for a minute and the other thing that we have to do here so this is the lid that bit there that little Johnson there is outboard so pointing into this little area there um, and we have to put a piece of photo etch on this which is um, that's Y swear I mean 29 so let's find Y29 which is going to be absolutely minute I think I can see it I'm you know what I'm going to have to get the magnifying glass out for this because it's so bloody small. Yes, there it is. Yeah, that is absolutely tiny. So, Y29 is that little piece there. Oh dear, yes, okay. Well, let's have at it. Let's do the best we can, shall we? So what we'll do is attempt to not poke our eyes out with this. Um, blade. Oh, there we go. I've got that. So here's our little teeny weeny little piece of um, photo etch, and that has to be folded to that has to be folded four times, would you believe? So Jesus. I need to get this in the way, sorry about this chaps. Let's put that down a bit, maybe you can possibly see this. There's going to be a slight pause now whilst I work out how the blooming hell to do this. So. I think that we bend up there and grip that tightly there and bend along there and that gives us that little section there And then, yeah, this is exactly the time you want to get an itch on your head, isn't it? I'm going to then bend down there and then. Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. That was not the right way to go. No, that really wasn't clever at all. Let's 
Let's see if we can do it that way. There we go. I think we might just about have we might just about have got away with that, possibly. So I'm gonna just put the light up back there again and see if we can get that to fit. I, th I think at first glance it looks like it's probably not going to, but let's have a try anyway, you never know. Yeah, right, okay, yuck. So I'm going to flatten that out. And do the same here. What I've done is just use the tweezer to flatten that out. It's going to look like a dog's dinner this, but I fear I have no choice. So I'm going to bend up there. No, that's not worked. Right. I'll flatten that again. I think what I'm going to have to do with that, because I've made a complete, um, complete mess of that, is to heat that and quench it, because otherwise what will happen is it will work harden. And it means I'm going to have to do that off camera. Um, but like I say, these things are so impossibly tiny that, um, let me find the right, I've got a, a flat, there we go, a flat type of tweezer that might help me to squash this flat and perhaps I can have one more go at this. Let's zero right in on this and see if we can see what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I need to, I think I need to flatten that out a little bit more. So, I fear that has to go off camera and be um, bellowed at um, um, quite a lot before it can be put in however let's what we'll do with that is we'll put that into here into my little box of things that I don't want to forget but would probably rather I did um, and what we'll then do is we'll drop that, that little section onto there and I will come back to that piece of photo etch at a at a future date, um, and I will show it on this section. There we go. That's that bit done, and where it will fit is I think uh, sort of across there from what I can see yeah it's across the top of that line there so what I'd done actually was the the edges of the of the photo etch should just sit down in there and not overlap here but they did so there we go live and learn and all that so um, there's a, a slight failure there but you know, as I say, you have to live and learn when you do these things. Next things next. So, I didn't test fit any of this, and I don't know which way around it really goes. So we've got these sections here. So that goes, I would suspect, that way. 
that sits on there. I'm not sure what way round, to be honest with you, but that more or less certainly sits into there. And there's an E58 part, which I'm going to say is that. It looks like that, certainly. Right. And sits in there. So what we'll do is we'll just plonk that into there if we can. Oh yeah, that fits in reasonably nicely and that stays in on its own so I assume ah there we go so that appears to sit in very much after that fashion yes it does appear that that goes in that way round I'll tell you what it doesn't half it doesn't half me it isn't half difficult it really is quite difficult to do this I'm going to glue that in a bit much glue there my own hand with that there'll be some filling to do there I suspect so that's that section and the E35 component which is this little Johnson here sits in there now that is the question does it sit inside that or does it not sit inside that doesn't appear to want to and that appears to be quite strangely um, put together yeah this is so um, that section seems to sit in there somehow it ought to be so easy didn't it really and then this other little Johnson sits in in amongst there after that fashion oh, there it goes it's all falling uh, falling away to pieces and that little plug sits on top of that so here's what we'll do what I'll do is I'll drop that onto the top onto the top of there if it will allow me because I think that actually I think what that will do is It will set. Ah, oh, there you are. See, it centres everything up. So I can leave that loose. It says here. That's not going to. It's probably not going to work. Well, maybe it'll work a bit. Here's what to do. Let's use some slightly slower drying glue. 
I want to leave this section here so that it moves and get that little round section onto that onto that plug there. So what we'll do much a better idea. Need to flip that over and drop a dab of glue in there. Now we know there's some glue in there now. We had the devil's own job getting the bloody brush out because it's all small and light. So what we'll do is we'll drop that in there. I bet that you bet you thought that would go in uh, and be more difficult than than it actually was. I think that was a fluke is what I think. So that's moving and if I want to glue it up now later then I can. But it's allowed to move so that I can get the orientation of these three. We shall call them spigots correct. Oops, just move the camera there. Now I can put in this um, E72 component so the E72 component sits into the remains of that gap there and right next door to, let's zero right in and show you this so let's just fetch this away so there's the E72 component it sits directly into there like that right next door to this here like that it would appear with this little Johnson here facing to the left. Now, quite what that does is anybody's guess, um, any tank commanders from a Challenger 2, please get on the phone or write something in the comments so that we can uh, um, at least have a little bit of an idea about exactly what those little Johnsons do. Um, oh, hang on a minute, I'm pushing that out. That's not what we want at all, is it? Hang on a minute. Normal service will be resumed in just a second. I just want to put, 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 I wanted to put that back in. It's easy for you to say. So what we'll do is we'll drop that in there on camera. Should we drop that in there on camera? I think that would be a good idea, wouldn't, wouldn't you think? And I'm not going to bond it to that little platform. Actually, no, I'm not going to use that glue. I'm going to use extra thin, uh, quick setting. And I'm going to bond this little Johnson here, up here and around the back there. Because then I can still move the platform afterwards. And uh, moved. I think. Okay. So. That still moves. And that's right next door to where it ought to be. And then we've got this little last component here. So I'm going to put that into my hand and see if we can get it orientated correctly because it goes I think that way round and it sits into this section here like that That's there. I'll just drop that in there. And there we have it. Now there is a little bit of photo etch to go. It's Y17. 
and again it's going to be if you'll forgive the expression fucking minute it goes on there and I'm not going to put that on yet so that's that bit now the last bit is E31 and F13 which is these two fellows here which go in it would appear that way up oh, even that way up by the look of it yes so and they appear to sit oh, I've gone off camera somewhere in there it would appear I'm not really clear where by the look of it I need to have a quick look at let's just have a quick look at the legend at 31 minutes and a half gone so we can see This bit goes there, so I need to try and work out how that goes. Oh, I've lost that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue those two things together to start with at least then they won't fall to pieces will they no, it doesn't allow me then to be able to work out exactly where this confounded thing appears to go in there by the look of it yes it appears that is how it goes so can we slide a brush in there yes we can and hold that there for a minute what we'll do as well is just glue that in there Hold that on there. This is why I find it rather difficult to summon up the um, the enthusiasm to do these things because we've put what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine components we've installed, and it's taken us thirty-five minutes that's how long it takes to do this sort of thing but I've gone some way towards it and I wanted to do something for the tankers out there particularly people like Rob over at Rims Models um, who's another guy who I've got a lot of time for um, and he makes some really bloody good models so instead of watching my inane drivel go and watch his um, and um, anyway there you are so after 35 minutes slightly pop-eyed uh, this is Zinzan signing off and saying thanks very much for tuning in. If you've got this far, you've done really, really well and you should go away and have a glass of beer and congratulate yourself. Thanks a lot then. Cheers for now. Take care. Bye-bye.